So cryptocurrency exchanges, as we've just talked about, you also need to do a little bit of research too, not just in the capacity of obviously where you're going to go, but how busy are they? Do they have liquidity? And are they safe? Now, obviously, talking about it just before, no exchange is safe, right? You've got to use and abuse. Go to CoinMarketCap. Now, this is a little bit biased because Binance own this. You can utilize Coin, um, CoinGecko. These other websites too. And what I will do, actually, I'll put both of them on um, just to give you an idea of what the difference is between both because I think it will majorly help you understand the differences between the both. So we'll do CoinMarketCap first. Go to Exchanges and go to Spot. All you are looking for is you know, the information that where you want to buy now. Country dependent will depend on where you can buy. If you're in America, sorry, it's a bit of a pain in the bum. You've got to go elsewhere. But you can see the trading volume is what you want to look for. You want to look for good volume. You want to look for good weekly visits as well. But also you want to look for this little check mark. Now, this is all new. These little reserves are literally brand new. Because of FTX, because of what's been pushed around the industry, a lot of people are calling for a lot of exchanges to put their reserves up online. And you can see the reserves here. So this is Qcoin, for example, right? Now, again, you can see other ones now. The likes of Coinbase is on the financial stock exchange. Their revenue mechanism is a little bit different and also so their reserves. So they're probably not going to publish their reserves. They're going to let the stock market do that for you. So you just got to look at that fundamental kind of element. Now, one thing I will say, if you click onto it, it will give you all the information about said exchange, where they're located. Kraken, pretty good if you're in the US, for example. You know, it's available to all US, except those that live in Washington and obviously in New York. But you can see there's a lot of countries that you cannot buy a lot of, you know, cryptocurrency assets. It's just the way it is, I'm afraid. Um, if you're in any of those countries, you're probably going to struggle. But fundamentals of any sort of research is, you know, liquidity. You know, average liquidity, this is what you want to look at. You want to go to the top end of the tree. If you're scrolling all the way down and looking like, let's go on to something random. I don't know, something totally, totally random. Um, that You may struggle to get liquidity. I don't know. Um, Yobit. Yobit, for example, has a massive reputation for basically scamming people. This is, a, in my opinion, a pretty dodgy exchange. It has been around for a while. I wouldn't recommend it. You can see very, very clearly there's not much volume on it. Like some of these pairs here are like you know, nothing happening. If you get trapped in any of those just buying it willy-nilly, you're not going to get your orders in. Remember, an exchange is literally a buy and a sell between two people. You've got to go into the right places, right? So you can see there's a lot of exchanges here. Um, Derbit, for example, random. This That was a popular one, no longer it is. You can see, like, we're at the bottom now. There's a lot of these uh, exchanges that are pretty damn dodgy, so make sure you understand that. Anyways, going to Coin Gecko again, similar sort of you know situation here. Go to exchanges, click on the you know the top bit. These do a thing called trust score. Now, this one I don't think is good. You've got reserve data as well. Yes, they do do similar to what uh, Binance have done. They're basically taking the same sort of information from the other website essentially, but you can see it's a bit harder to read in my opinion. This one's just going like pretty in my opinion pretty high up so you gotta be careful but the one thing to look for as always look for the volume and obviously the web visits as well so you can see what is popular what is not coinbase obviously popular binance obviously popular you know you get the picture it is relatively straightforward so that's it you know you need to do your information you need to do your, your little checks when you click on it as i said before you can see all the information that you need in terms of the volume you know about the exchanges where you can buy them from liquidity sort of stuff any sort of incidents and stuff like that you know, they're all put on here. Again, similar sort of situation with the reserves, statistics, and obviously the trust score. It helps massively in terms of getting all this information in terms of what you want. This trust score should be massive for this because it is regulated in terms of like the currency exchanges and stuff like that, which is pretty big. Anyways, next one is more interesting, promise.